Hi little patriots, I'm Miss Juliana and so today what we're doing is we're going to do a craft for a story that we're going to be reading called Room on the Broom. And so the things that you will be needing, the supplies that you will be needing, is a glue stick, scissors, um, toilet paper roll or paper towel roll, it emptied, and some crayons or colored pencils, and some of these craft sticks, popsicle sticks, whatever, like anything that could stand up like this. And then there will also be a paper with a whole bunch of characters on it that you will be cutting out, which is the reason why you will be needing the scissors. Make sure you have a parent or an adult next to you to help you cut it out. Um, I already cut it out, but I will put a little video really quick of me cutting them out. So there is six characters in the story that we are reading. There's one, two, three, four, five, which is the witch, and six. So first things first, if you want to, you don't have to, it's just optional you can color your characters however you want it i'm going to color it orange for my witch i'm going to choose to color it in with some brown since witches are known to be very mysterious and like creepy so i'm going to color some brown on it and make it a dark color. For my next character, I think I'm gonna do a fun random color, which I choose to be blue. You know, you can make your character however you want. It could be silly if you would like. As you guys are coloring the characters, I want you guys to tell me, like, what do you guys think is gonna happen in the story we're about to read? Like, why do you guys think there's a witch and all these animals? I want you guys to grab your sticks. There should be six of them. And I want you guys to flip your cutouts upside down and I want you to put glue on the back of them make sure you get a good amount on there so that they stick onto the stick and you can also if you would like um, you could put some glue on one side of the stick that you're going to be placing the character so that it kind of sticks a little bit better and make sure when you place it you place it at the top of the stick so that you have room on the bottom to grab it. So like this. And you could put it on the side for now to let it dry. And when you let it dry, you wanna flip it this way just so there's the air goes in. So I'm gonna do that and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I finished gluing on the characters onto the sticks. I bet you guys are more exciting than mine, of course. But just to kind of do a quick little model of it. Okay, so. Hi guys, so I forgot to tell you guys what I was doing here. For the paper towel roll or the toilet paper roll, what I did was use the end of the sticks that I glued my characters onto and I poked holes throughout the middle of the roll. You can also have an adult poke holes with the end of the scissors. Um, make sure that you guys are safe and make sure you guys are going to the adults to help you. So just start placing the characters in the holes onto the roll.
just like this. And if you look, the story we're reading is called Room on the Broom. And as you can see, this takes place as if it is a broom. So it looks like, you know, the witch is just flying with all these amazing animals on the back of her broom. So I want you guys to tell me how many characters are on this broom. Now, if we count, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six characters on the broom right now. We know that this is taking place as a broom, but what is a broom? So I know you guys have probably seen your parents maybe sweeping the house with a broom. And literally that is exactly the same broom that a witch is used. So that a witch uses. So the broom that your parents use is the exact same broom that a witch uses. If you guys want, which is optional, before you guys even place the characters onto the broom, you can completely decorate your broom and you can decorate it however you want. You could put butterflies or ladybugs or little spiders on it. Make it however you want. This is your craft. Um, make it your own. So guys, I know it was a quick craft that we made, but once we read the story as we're reading the story you guys will start off with the writ with you guys will start off with the witch and as you guys hear one of these characters you're gonna add them on as the story goes thank you guys so much for following along i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys are looking out in case you see a witch anywhere bye guys